In my almost two years of Blender learning, I have never ever done a scene with so much stress and so many plot twists. The moving mid-station challenge was really stressful. First, let's put in context. I've known about Punisher since I was really young, actually. I was around 12 or 13 uh, with that video of Milkman. I didn't even knew he was doing VFX until I saw him with Corridor, and I didn't even knew he was making videos until I saw that. Parallel Dimension was something new to me, and at this point I wasn't even learning 3D at all. Then I tried to make a submission for the next one, uh, but I wasn't really skilled with Blender at this time, so I skipped. Then I passed the Mashin one because I had never animated before, and I skipped the last one because I was taking a break of 3D at this moment. So here we are, the first August. I see this video of a new challenge. I've seen every single one of them thinking that I could be among them, but every time something was holding me back, now I wanted to do it. But the question was, would I be able to do it? I took the first days to think about my style and my composition. I didn't want it to go into a style I'm not used to, but I couldn't decide between low poly and realism. I find realism easier because you can just download a bunch of assets and textures, but it takes a lot of time to refine your scene. And I've never worked with animated rigs before, so it will be hard to look realistic here. So I was thinking about low poly. Uh, I had some experience with low poly, I love the style, and I will even be able to create my own character. So that was my second step, creating a character, because the environment, I knew how to do that. But the full body? Mm. I've sculpted some faces before, you know, but I'm not really experienced in this subject. So to be sure to have the good bases, I downloaded a male body on Sketchfab, link in the description, and I just made clothes on top. I didn't care if it was good or not, I just wanted it to work. And it was kind of working, even though I had some little issues, but I will fix them later, you know. Now let's go for the third step, the environment. In the first step, I was actually thinking about what environment I wanted, what story I wanted to tell. I saw one image and a good looking desert low poly, so I thought maybe I could make a large desert with a big castle against the cliff of a mountain. And there will be a giant war in front of that castle with like big explosions and everything. And also, I have a lot of space in the sky, why not put a big dragon in- Yeah, I saw way too big. I had all my composition in my head and I was struggling making the first mountain. So I took a drastic decision. I stopped working on this environment. It was the 13th and I was already halfway of the challenge. All I had was my character. So, step 4. Rethinking about my scene. This time I did not took 2 or 3 days to think about it, I started right away. So I thought to myself, this guy looks like he's in an isolated Japanese house in the woods. So I made a f***ing isolated Japanese house in the woods. <laughs> I made it so that the background was not so far from my camera, this way I didn't have to work a lot on my background. Then I worked a bit on the house. I wanted to work on several elements as I went along because I didn't want it to run out of time and being like, shit, I don't have grass because I took too much time on that stupid lamp. Then I started to make a small stream with a couple of rocks, made some little stone walls, then the trees. At first I wanted to make the same type of trees I made in that scene. But I will not be able to animate them in time, and learning how to animate them too, cause I never did it before. So I took the tree generator in Blender, animated quickly in the armature settings, and it was working well for me. I took two kind of trees, uh, a bunch of fir trees and a kind of Japanese maple to get that red color that will blend with the sunset. Next thing you know, it's the grass. So at first I just tried to do a simple hair system and trying to get the root larger so that it will kind of look low poly. I don't know, I was working through my scene and I really didn't like it. Plus I clearly had a problem with the physics, but at this point I was really close to rendering. So I rushed it, added a little bit of flowers, little lamps around and some floating rocks, worked a bit my lighting, I tested my grass again with other settings and it worked better. It's 26th of August and I'm 2 or 3 days away from the deadline. I'm about to start the render and go to sleep, but I made a serious choice. I decided to change my grass. This grass was not going to be in my final scene, so I checked real quick on YouTube how to make low poly grass and I saw this amazing video of Curtis Old. Thank you man. So I took another day to make it and this decision fucked me up. The 27th. I start the render midway through the day so that it will finish in the night. So I go to sleep and I wake up at dawn. The dawn of my fucking failure. Just, just look at that. Man, I don't know. I think I had some problem with my lens dirt. Uh, some problem with the glare too. 
and and I f***ed up. I told you, I f***ed up. At this point, I really, really think I'm done. There's like eight or nine hours left for the deadline. Like, I'm not gonna be able to render on time. I just can't render another shot. That was my last one, my only one. And I literally wanted to cry, actually. And my brother came to me and he was like, don't you think you can fix it with DaVinci Resolve? So I just show him the shot and he's like, oh yeah, man, you really fucked up. And you know, I felt a bit depressed because I was like, fuck, man, I just lost one month of fucking working. I've seen every challenge at their releases and I wanted to say, hey, I've been with these guys. And I didn't want to post a scene I didn't like. I wanted to be a bit proud about it. So I'm at my desk right there just just thinking about my loss like that's it i'm not in it when i see something on my screen it's a discord notification if you tried submitting over the last couple hours and couldn't it's because the server was down during that time we're super sorry it happened quickly fix the issue and are officially extending the deadline by 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 24 hours it was like an angel saw me down there and he was like <laughs> Not fair, man. So right after that, I quickly started the renders. So it took me about 24 hours and that's it. It's three hours away from the deadline and my scene is working. I still got a bit scared by the bug of water uh, changing in the first 20 frames, but with the help of my brother, thank you brother, uh, you really saved my life on this one. Quickly removed it with Resolve, added some color correct in Resolve 2, some lens dirt and some lens flare and voila. I had my scene and I was more than happy with it, learned a lot on it, and it was definitely the most stressful experience <laughs> in Blender, of course, in Blender. So that's about it for this video, I hope you liked it. Um, for my next videos, I will try to explain more about my scenes and less about uh, my experience in it. I will try to explain more how I did my textures, how I did my models. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video.